Hey everybody, welcome back to Interviews with Plants. I'm Alex and today we're talking to bunchberry, also known as Cornus canadensis. So this is a low shrub. It's a perennial. Um, it's got kind of a woody base. So the woody base and generally the leaves will stick around all year. Um, it's found in a lot of locations, so all across Canada from low elevations all the way up to subalpine elevations in moist forests and dry areas. You'll often see it kind of growing on, um, on old stumps, kind of like this one is right here. So let's take a closer look at the leaves. They're arranged in kind of a whorl shape on the stem. There's generally four to seven leaves per whorl. So this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll notice a really strong venation pattern. So the veins are, they're very visible. Um, they're parallel veins and they converge toward the tip of the leaf. And the leaves themselves are kind of oblong or, or lance shaped. So they start narrow and they get fatter toward the middle and then they taper again towards the end. And the leaves are evergreen. So they'll, they'll stay on the plant through most of the year. So let's turn to the flower now. So these four white, what look like petals, are actually bracts, which are just modified leaves. So they look like petals, but they're actually just a modified leaf. And there's, uh, there's always four of these white bracts surrounding a central cluster of the flower. If the fruits were present, they would be a bright red fleshy kind of berry-like droop and there'll be a cluster of them right at the end where this flower is there'll be a cluster of maybe four to seven berries so that was a little bit about bunchberry today also known as cornus canadensis thank you for watching let's thank all of these beautiful bunchberries for their time if you like these videos don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to our channel it really helps us out thanks see you in the next one